texting all my buddies, thanking them, you know, my friends, my family, my coaches, just my whole environment the past like two months has just helped me so much to get here. I've been waking up 6 a.m. almost every day, practicing every day, healthy cut, getting down just this tournament. Last year, I lost in the round of 32, I believe, and I wrestled all the way back for third. And as soon as I walked out of that arena, I knew I was coming back to get this this, this next year. So, like I said, I just want to thank everyone now. Just, I'm so happy. Like, I've won a lot of things, and I'm never more honored to have this. I was just talking to Andy over here, Andy Hamilton, and we were talking about, you know, like the viral sensation video oh, yeah. as a young kid, and you, you just always had a, a target on your back. And that's hard, man. That's hard to maintain such a high level of, of competition. And how do you do that? And how do you get better every year? It's really hard because, you know, there's not the Mohawk anymore, and you're not a little kid. But, like, you know, that, that's tough, man. The target on your back is a seven, eight year old. Everyone's always chasing you down, you know? Whoever's number one out there, they're chasing you down no matter what weight it is. And like you said, as a little kid, I've always had that target on my back. So every day when I go into that practice room, I knew that I need to get better just like everyone else is and stay at the top. Biggest thing you've won? You said this is the biggest thing you've ever won. Is that, would you agree with that? I don't know about biggest, but I'm the most happiest about this. When's the last time you watched the video? How long has it been since you've Probably watched it? Probably two days ago. Because really? random kids went up to me and they're like, Hey, are you like giving the video? And they like pulled it up, so. <laughs> How old were you in that video? Seven? Maybe, I don't know. Around seven to ten. Not sure. What do you got to do to distance yourself from that and be a new Steve-O who's not like a, a child sensation, but now represent the United States, win a world title? People need to start taking me more serious because I'm at the international level now and I feel like I compete against anyone in the country, anyone in the world. And, you know, my style has changed. I'm not just throwing kids anymore. I'm getting technical and I'm excited to go to the world. How have you been able to keep the fire going given the pressure, you you know, that you've, you've faced through the years, the last decade or so? You know, like I said, I don't want to fall behind. And I know everyone else, they're trying to improve to get to the same spot as me. So as long as I stay ahead in that race, I'll always be good. What's your training look like between now and the World Championships? What are you going to do? Um, I'm going to take the next two weeks to eat, eat some Dunkin' on the way home, and uh, you know, maybe go to the Olympic Training Center, train with some of these high-level guys that will also be going, get back on my diet, train hard, 6 a.m. runs, get ready for that tournament. What would you like about your performance this weekend? Um, just I was so confident. I knew that I had done so much in preparation for this tournament that going out there, no one had done what I'd done to prepare for this. So I just went out there with full of confidence and just went hard. Congratulations to you. Thanks, guys.